Hello guys, welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Add Maths Plus Maths. I'll discuss now Additional Mathematics IGCSE Paper 1, Variant 3 of October, November 2010 on the question number 3. This question is most often mistaken as a problem for differentiation because you have the word tangent and when we talk about differentiation, uh, we always have the application of differentiation. But this is not all about tangent. This is all about quadratics because I have a curve and a line. Okay, A curve and a line that has a tangent or, or the curve which is a quadratic and has a tangent that is a line. So basically, okay. I'll have a curve, then a point of tangency by this line. So this is y is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 18. This is y equals mx plus 2. Okay? So definitely, okay, what you will be doing here is, I can have two ways for this. I can have Okay, I can have the actually differentiation. Why? Because I can immediately tell you what is the gradient, what is the gradient on that point. But uh, we don't have an x value of this point. Okay, so what you need to do here is to Apply the idea that if I have one distinct point, okay, it is equivalent to b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Okay, how do I apply this? I need to equate the two equations. Since they are both equal to y, then I can have x squared plus 12x plus 18 is equal to mx plus 2. And then find out what is a, what is b, and what is c from ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay? So you need to look for a, b, and c. So let's equate this entire thing with 0. So it will become x squared plus 12x. I'll bring mx to the left side, minus mx, plus 18, minus 2 is equal to 0. Thus, it will become x squared plus 12 minus mx, okay, plus 16 is equal to 0. Thus, a is equal to 1. B is equal to 12 minus M. C is equal to 16. Okay. Since I am applying this one, I can change now the B, the A, and the C. The B is 12 minus M. I'll square that. Okay. Minus 4 times the A is 1. Then times the C is 16 is equal to 0. I'll expand this. This is 12 squared is 144. 2 times 12 is 24 times negative m is negative 24m. Negative m squared is m squared. 4 times 16 is negative 4 times 16 is negative 64. It's equal now to 0. So I'll have m squared minus 24m 144 minus 64 will be 80. Is it 80? Okay. Plus 80 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, I need to factorize this out to find out what are the values of the M. Okay. I can use my calculator mode equation. Okay. Then I have 1 negative 24 
and 80. Okay, I have 20, so m minus 20 and m minus 4. Okay, I have m minus 20 and m minus 4, thus the first value of the m is 20 and the second value of the m is 4. Okay, from doing this, you will get 4 marks. How do I get 4 marks? I will get 4 marks if I will equate these two equations. 1 mark for that. Okay, 1 mark for, one mark for finding this portion wherein I am going to look for A, B, and C. So that's 1 mark. And two marks for the solution of M or the solutions of M. This will give you two marks. Or from the uh, from the way you solve this equation. Okay. Anyway, you will be seeing after this the marking scheme. So please don't skip the video. Take a look at the marking scheme if we have what we have done is correct or wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like if you have learned something. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.